on guys, Chiefs here, and today I have a really cool video planned. We are gonna be exploring a hidden walleye sanctuary that has just opened up today, and we're gonna be using some underrated fishing techniques to float fish for walleye, smallmouth, and there's actually a lot of really big northerns in this spot too, but we got a little bit of a boat ride ahead of us. I do have a little duty that I need to take care of here. We gotta go mark a reef because we just had a guest freaking smoke a rock pile. You would not be able to tell if a big black rock and about a foot of chop would be resting right underneath the surface. Great structure, but not anything you want your boat near. But we're gonna get it right. Right there. I think we're gonna fish it really quick. I got some big daredevils or something. Maybe we could try out. Troll my way back around this rock pile. Oh, that was white. Yep. There's a fish. Yep, that's a fish right there. Man, 20 foot. What is this? Probably just a freaking teeny pike. Man, that took two seconds. Probably mid high 20 fish. That did not take long at all. Nice. All right, off to the sanctuary. I can't see bottom yet, so we are going to slow roll our way right into here. Probably a little bit overkill, but hey, I'm going to bust out the waders. Feels good. Let's get to it. This is, this is gonna be wild, guys. <laughs> so happy I brought my waders. Oh, oh, a little bass just shot out right there. Who's just sitting in the shadows? Should be some fish sitting at the bottom of these rapids. Wow, 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 this looks so fishy. Look at that run, that looks amazing. So the idea is, I'm gonna throw some drifts right in that main current. Excited is an understatement. <laughs> this is so sick. This is so sick. This is something I've wanted to do for so long, just hike all the way up this freaking river and fish this pool. So if you, if you guys can see what's going on right here, Basically got a big set of rapids coming up from another extremely fishy lake. Maybe we'll go explore that one day. We've got a set of rapids coming out into here and it just dumps off. You can see that current really just start laying out as that run ends. I really don't know what kind of depth I should start with right now, but start shallow and work our way deeper. We've got a 15 gram float right here and we have split shot, which are weighing this float down and ideally, we want our weight to be something similar to the weight of our float, so there's a neutral buoyancy. Just enough weight to where we can get this white line just touching the water. So I've got about five size five water gremlin split shot right here. I like to put two directly beneath my stem. Then we got one, two, three. And then we got a nice little barrel swivel here with about, I don't know, I'd say 16 inch liter of 10 pound test down to an eighth ounce jig and this eighth ounce jig we are going to be rigging up with a nice fresh minnow if you guys don't know this is the absolute best way to hook a minnow in the mouth out the gill it's not actually hooked turn your hook through the side in the mouth out the gill through the side keeps them alive and that is it that is our presentation right there and this is gonna be our first couple casts into this sanctuary hole. See how it goes. So she's floating downstream right there. I'm waiting to see that bobber just plunk. Oh, 
It's a freaking perfect cedar wall. I don't got a measuring stick, but I can already tell you, this is the exact fish we came here for. 14, 15 inch walleye, third drift. I wasn't getting any bites off the rip and I started twitching my jig and uh, it went straight, just ripped down. So perfect eater, shore lunch will be great with this. Might just keep one more, not really here to bag out on a huge limit, but catch yourself a nice little supper. I'm happy. Yeah, it's a little butter walleye. Probably one of the biggest ones we caught today. Not a giant. Scoop in the belly, scoop in the belly. See you, buddy. So check it out, guys. We got two perfect eater walleyes here. Probably, I don't know, 15 inches a piece, 15, 16 inches, and just so happens that we got some of that catch and cook in the mail. I had a generous box sent out to me and super excited to try it out. I got my propane stove and everything. So we're gonna stick around. We're gonna fish a little bit longer and cook up a nice little shore lunch. I hope you guys like these walleye videos. I know it's a, I know it's a big change of pace. I always upload salmon and steelhead content, but this is where it all began for me. Fishing in Canada, chasing big northerns, walleye, smallmouth, muskie. I mean, this is, this is where I grew up fishing my entire life. And this was my first love. So I'm just so happy to sit here and share it with you guys. I know it doesn't pull the most amount of views. And, you know, it's something different for my channel. But anybody that's made it this far into the video, seriously, thank you guys so much. If you want to help support the channel, leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that other corny stuff. But let's get back to fishing, see if we can't put a couple more on the bank and uh, have a nice little afternoon here. First cast. What I found out is twitching them is really what makes the difference. Sitting there and I'm just kind of wiggle. Boom! First cast. That's a chunky one. A toad! A freaking toad! Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me right now? An absolute toad! Look at that bass! Absolutely astonishing! I don't know. I can't think of a better word. Look at that! A freaking chunk! Beautiful! absolutely beautiful smallmouth man look how fat that thing is that thing fought way too hard to be anything else awesome awesome fish well i think it's safe to say there's a lot of fish here I'm getting absolutely ravaged by bugs right now we got our two walleyes had a little fun playing around with some northern bass and a couple more walleye but i'm gonna get packed up we're gonna have ourselves a nice little shore lunch and uh we'll call her there No rocks. It's like a nice little shore launch spot. Our makeshift anchor. Boat is secured. All right. Dinner with the view. Let's get it. Gotta give a little shout out to the Catch and Cook for the sweet blade too. <laughs> this was definitely over the top extra. I do usually use a little bit longer of a blade, but Looks really quality, it's super sharp. Without further ado. Nice sharp blade. It's straight out of the box too. It's actually cutting very well. Not bad. Just fillet there. It's gonna be doing the regular cuts there. Nice. Oh, we got like the perfect amount of oil for a fish fry right now. Got a nice fish fry here. Beautiful lake sunset. 
We're gonna use their original crunchy catch and cook. That looks killer, guys. Oh, that's gonna be so good. Do not look at my burnt onions. I don't wanna hear about it. That's gonna be so good. And the potatoes are browning. Oh, that looks amazing. And douse a little bit of lemon on there. And uh, see how she is. I love lemon. Let's see what's up. That's good. I think the biggest thing with like walleye just it has its own taste to it and so it's I honestly like the taste of walleye by itself the batter doesn't overwhelm the actual taste of the fish which I really like all right guys just finished up got everything all packed up can get rid of some onion scraps but we got the boat all tidied up and uh I'd say that was a success came in blind I didn't know if it would actually work but we managed to put the beat down on a couple of nice walleyes some bass pike and a hidden walleye sanctuary that has actually just opened up today. But going a little bit out of my comfort zone making these kind of videos for you guys. It's kind of a different style. I've never really done these like catch and cook. I haven't really dabbled into walleye and all that kind of stuff on my YouTube channel either. It's always usually the, the salmon and steelhead and whatnot. But I hope you guys enjoyed the little change of pace. I'll be here for another couple weeks. So expect some more videos like this before I'm back to king season in Michigan. But... I hope you guys enjoyed. If you're new to the channel, leave a like, comment, subscribe. You already know all that corny crap. And uh, see you guys in the next one.